real tough to do. <laughs> Coach Jordan, first things first, congratulations on the 18th state title in a row? 18th straight, yeah. And I want to say 20 out of the last 22. Something like that. No, it is. It's 20 out of the last 22. Yeah. I know that because 98, you won it as the assistant when Ron Con McCon yep. was your head yep. coach. You were the assistant. Yep. And you guys didn't win 99, 2000. Then 2001. We're, we're running right with the years right now. It's pretty yeah. incredible. <laughs> it's hard to do. I was talking to Greg Urbis. How do you do it, man? How, how, do you, how are you able to consistently get these just complete hammers to come to Champaign County? How do you do it? This is amazing. How do you? And, and not to mention, it's all built around the Jordans. They've they've gained the most from it. They've gotten really good. How you know, do you do it? You know what? We, I've been really blessed. We we, we, we set a system in motion. Uh, it's kind of like not. It's not really a sport at Graham. It's like a program, and that's what people say. It's a program where people are expected to win. You know, I I've got JV guys that were JV last year that. All of a sudden, on varsity, and they, and they place. I got a Andrew Schaefer, my 182 pounder. He couldn't make. He couldn't start. He's a 38 pounder. I asked him to gain 30 pounds and go 182. And he goes, "You think I can win?" I said, "I think you can win. I don't think I know you can." In our room, he he placed this week. So you know, it, it's it's kind of like just you're expected to win when you put the black and white uniform on. And, and you know what? I think Coach McCunn. You remember Coach McCunn said he instilled discipline in everything that he did. So you know what? Discipline is everything. And sometimes the kids, gonna they're going to test you on that. And uh, you just always got to stand firm in your beliefs and in your morals. Joey Sanchez is the guy who he jumps out at me. Because let's talk. Two years ago, you beat Blair in your gym because of Joey Sanchez. Jo Joey Sanchez, if you could see a picture of him in the sixth grade, he weighed 178 pounds in the sixth grade. And it was not muscle. None of it at all was muscle. <laughs> and and you know what? Uh, he wanted to be a state champ. That's his whole goal. Hasn't done it yet, you know. But you know what? He helped us beat Blair. He's a two-time state placer. He just had a great semifinals match tonight. He's in the state finals tomorrow. And, and, and you know what, Zeb? That's what it's about, getting better, developing as a wrestler. And you know what? Joey Sanchez is going to Division One in wrestling in college. I look at a guy like that, and you took someone who, who was not a likely, he was not like David coming in from Wyoming or wherever. This guy is like a local guy who just like developed just, and grinded. Just, just the environment, grinding every day, doing two practices a day. And the big thing is that is just, just getting confident, you know, believing in the system, believing in your teammates, believing in yourself and your ability. And that's what, I mean, Joey Sanchez, one of the captains of my team, he's been the captain the last two years. That's unbelievable. You know, and uh, because but he, he kind of personifies Graham wrestling. You know, the harder you work, the more you're going to get out of it. So, you know, I, I talked to Curvis. <clears throat> I love talking to you guys because you're just like great motivators, you're great minds, you're ahead of the curve, you're ahead of your time. It's pretty amazing. But, I, you know, we're humans, we get older, our bodies break down. And, and bottom line with him is how much longer you got to ask Greg. You're younger than him, though. But I told him, I was like, Coach Jordan does a lot of crazy stuff, he still rides the Aerodyne. He's nuts. He still splits a bunch of wood. Drive up his driveway and you see wood everywhere and he splits it up. It's pretty incredible what you've done. How you treat your body. You're, you're pretty good to your body, but you still wrestle. I still do. I'm, I'm each year less and less. You know, I just saw one of my former wrestlers, Kyle Ott. He's down here at the state tournament. Dr. Ott? Dr. Ott. I saw him on the and mat checking someone's knee out. Yeah, well, he just shot my knee with this huge needle and I told him to be gentle and just gave me a shot of Simvisc for, for my knee. And it feels a lot better. So as long as I got guys like Kyle Ott or Dr. Ott around, I can maybe keep doing this a little longer. Coaching career, how much longer can we see you? I mean, I, I talked to you today, and it felt like just in talking to you, I don't know how much longer you got. I can't gauge it. That's you. How much longer can you do? You know, I haven't, been, I haven't. I've been to one Big Ten tournament. It was on Sunday, and that was when it was in Columbus, Ohio, a couple years ago. But so I haven't really got to see Bo or Mickey at all wrestle in college until the national tournament or home duels. So. I don't know, sometimes I think I'm gonna step down after this year, but you know, sometimes I think, what am I gonna do for, for four months uh, uh, next next November until until March, until the state tournament? You know, I know I can go watch my boys, but you know, there's a, I love I love helping kids. I love coaching at Graham and, and I love winning. So, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what, I just need to take a little time off after this season. 
the flow wrestling guys were like critical of you last time we talked. They pressed you on. Why don't you go here? Why don't you go there? My thing is like, everybody comes to you. Why would you go when you already know how you stack up against those guys? Like that's almost like my mentality towards it. Maybe I'm a Graham defender. I don't know. Maybe I'm an Ohio homer. But when they're critical like that, why would you guys go anywhere when everybody comes to you? It, how do you continue to bring these people into Champaign County and train with you? They just, you know what? I think I have some parents that believe in the system that we teach at Graham. And, you know, we always win with class. We lose with class. We've never lost a team point at the state tournament ever. We, I don't think we ever will. we just got great kids that love to go to war. And uh, some parents... Some parents want that for their kids. They want them in an environment where not only are they going to get disciplined, not only are they going to uh, be bigger men, but they might be better wrestlers as well. As far as the competition, you know, they, they wanted you to go to the Beast East. They want you to go to all these places. I think they want Jeff Jordan to pay for it. I don't know. That's not how this works. I work at a public school. People don't just pay for stuff out of their pocket. Get, it's through the school. You know what? I, I, I do get sometimes sick of it of hearing that we don't wrestle the competition. What's amazing is we bumped up to Division One. We wrestled Cincinnati LaSalle, they're ranked 12th. Brexville got beat by St. Ed's. We, we wrestled St. Ed's, we wrestled Wadsworth this year. We wrestled, We were going to the D Detroit Central Catholic duels. We, we got snowed out, my superintendent said you can't go. But you know what, we do, what, what I don't want is why every week, why go the Ironman and wrestle Blair Seminary and, and then the next week go to the Beast East, wrestle Blair Seminary. Why wrestle them four or five times a year? You know, we wrestled St. Ed's twice this year, you know, and, and uh, it was a barn burn. It came down the last match both both, both times. So uh, I just, you know, and we're a public school. We don't have the money. I got to raise it, all of it. So, but I don't know. It's unprecedented what you did at that state duels. It's never been <laughs> done in the state it's the history of Ohio. No one's ever petitioned up a division. I didn't even know you could do it. And you went in and you beat these teams. You beat St. Ed's in the finals. That's incredible. Semis. You would do it here. I know if they would let you do it here, you'd do it here. I know you would. You've done everything. What more is there to do? You know what? It was good this year that we got to move up. Bo, Bo Rugg, the, the commissioner, come and asked me, it, it, it's good for wrestling, Jeff. And when you hear something good for wrestling, hey, you know what? We, got, we were very fortunate. We won the coin toss against St. Ed's. So we, we, could, we could juggle with our coin toss. We actually won it twice. And I just said, the Protestants must be living a little bit better than the Catholics. But uh, <laughs> that's funny. That is just a joke. Yeah. But, but you know what? Hey, whatever's good for wrestling, we'll do. If we went up and got beat, we got beat. But if it's good for wrestling, why not do it? You know. And, and for myself, Zeb, you know what? We've won, we've won 18 straight state titles. It, it's been... That's a state record. State record. Any we've, sport. We've, we've won, I think, three, three national titles in the last 10 years. You know what? It's... It's been a real pleasure and a privilege to me coaching at Graham. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Sometimes that's what the, the biggest thing about me walking away, whether I do it this year, whether I do it next year, is I'm gonna miss building the relationships with the kids. That's what it all comes down to. Getting a kid to run through the wall for you and the team, you know, to help them reach their goal. Do you think you'll put that energy into being a grandpa and being a dad more? I got bit? two little granddaughters. I don't know, you know, Coach Jesse Lang, one of my former assistants, he's got his daughter wrestling now. I just can't see my pretty little granddaughter step on the mat and wrestling right now, you know. So uh, I don't know, but I, uh, I want to spend some time with you. All right. I got some places I'm going to tell you to go. Hopefully you go there. You got anything else for me? Thanks for the time. Thanks for giving me a call and having the, the common courtesy to try and meet up with me. Good luck to you guys tomorrow in the finals. I, I know it doesn't matter. You already had the thing locked up, but good luck. Thanks for the time, Coach. And. We will be eagerly waiting your decision if you're going to stay or go, all right? Thanks, Seb. Hey, when are you going to shave? <laughs>